here are the 10 best tips for improving your boards. There's no downtime. Always find something to do when boarding. If you've killed the whole crew, you should not be sitting still as you wait. Raid their food barrel for the best food. Steal firebombs and start fires on the lower deck to make holes. Refill your blunder bombs from their barrel. Dump any storage crates you see over the side of their ship. Turn the wheel the wrong way. There's always something that can be done to grief the crew you're spawn trapping. Practice your route. Get comfortable running around the different ship types. This might sound silly with how small the ships are, but memorizing a route helps a lot. It's crazy how OP it is to simply know the right places to jump in parkour. My basic route on every ship is usually from one far end of the ship to the other, running in a very skinny oval. It's crucial to avoid the lower decks if possible. Always stay on the top deck, and it will be much harder for swords to catch you. You need room to jump and to parkour. Know when to board. Don't be a bad teammate who is never on the ship. Wait until you at least have holes in your opponent before sending for a board. This way you have a better chance of making it up the ladder because the other crew will be distracted. You'll also have a better chance of completing a sink. Also, make sure your ship won't be under attack the second you leave. Don't leave your teammate outnumbered if you miss. Prioritize eating and running over fighting. You should absolutely never stay still when boarding. Always keep moving and jumping. It's also important to spam heal. If possible, eat cooked meat in advance so you can have regen health. And also only board with high tier food. Many new players feel discouraged when they don't win a board, but they don't realize it's because they boarded with five bananas. New players often don't realize how important eating food is to the combat in Sea of Thieves. This game's PvP system is more similar to Minecraft than it is to Call of Duty. You have to heal yourself when fighting multiple opponents, and you need good food to do this. Practice advanced boarding techniques. Don't be a noob that blindly climbs straight up and dies. First you need to practice ladder jukes. Practice sliding up and down ladder quickly. Next you can practice letting go of ladder and re-grabbing. The goal is to make your opponent whiff their shot so you can safely climb up. After you've mastered this, now you can practice letting go of the ladder at the top to shoot your enemy with the blunderbuss. The knockback should give you enough time to re-grab and safely complete the climb. If you feel better with a sword, then try sword hopping sideways the instant you're off the ladder. This will often let you dodge enough blunderbuss pellets to survive. Once you're up, you'll always want to run and heal immediately. Know your objective in advance. Always ask yourself, what am I trying to accomplish? Your primary goal is always to anchor, but after you've anchored them, now what? Now you need to ask yourself, do they have holes? If they have holes, then your next goal is to stop the team from repairing. If they don't have holes, then you need to buy your teammate some time to give them holes. But regardless, your primary goal is never just to get kills. I see so many players who think they have to commit to getting every kill when they board. This results in them dying quickly, when they could have just ran and healed. Getting kills may help you complete your objective, but getting kills itself is not your primary objective. You need to stay alive at all costs. The actual purpose of a border is not to kill the crew, but to distract them. You become an unstoppable force of chaos on the enemy ship simply by running around and eating. Just your presence alone on their ship will make a huge impact. Even if you're not getting kills, simply moving around will interfere with them feeling comfortable enough to repair or to raise anchor. You should wait until they go for a repair or an anchor raise or a bucket and then you strike. Do not overcommit or you will find yourself quickly dying. It might sound counterintuitive, but you actually cause the most trouble for them simply by staying alive. You need to stay focused on the bigger picture. Don't be afraid to jump off. When running around the enemy ship, remember that you can use the water to your advantage, as long as they're anchored. Sitting in the water or on the ladder is one of the best ways to gatekeep the anchor. Also, when you sit on ladder, you still manage to tie down one of their crew members to babysit you and keep you from boarding. Use the right loadout. Practice boarding with every loadout and find the one that best suits your playstyle. Personally, I recommend sniper and sword, but regardless of the loadout, one item you'll always want is blunderbombs. They're absurdly overpowered. They let you damage multiple enemies at once. They let you launch enemies overboard. They also let you stop the enemy from repairing or raising anchor, even if you don't have direct line of sight on them. Practice other boarding methods. If you're playing against super sweaty opponents, then making it up the ladder just might not be an option. Fortunately, there are two more ways you can board. The first is called deck shotting. 
This is where you aim high enough to land on the deck of the enemy ship. Experienced players will know to aim for the wheel, mast, cannons, or ladder, so you have something to grab. Spamming the interact button while in midair makes it much easier to accidentally grab onto something. This is by far the sweatiest way to board, but it's also relatively unreliable. The second option is to super sword dash. I know many players hate the sword in general, but its movement ability is absolutely insane. Super jumping is by far the easiest way to board directly onto a ship in close proximity. The sword can also be useful for speed boosting through the water to board especially if the ship is too far away to swim to, and it's also not within your cannon angle. All around, the sword will be your best friend if you're practicing boarding. Aim for the opposite ladder. Go up the ladder farthest from your ship if possible. Even good players can still be confused by this, because they always expect the board to come up the ladder facing the enemy. If you can ever swim, cannon launch, or sword dash to the opposite ladder, you should always go for it. It just might give you a free board. And now you're ready to strike fear into your enemies. If you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe for more Captain Squiddy. Oh, hey there. So, you're thinking about subscribing, huh? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Really, really helps, and I, I, I don't have any money, so please subscribe.